words. Gladiators ready. Oh, blimey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I, I, feel, I feel rather inadequate now. <laughs> I think there's that fire on there in the weather there. Or, uh, guys, a little bit different to yours. <laughs> Just a little bit, yes. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So this is Fire and Steel. Good Welcome morning. this morning to you both. Uh, Simon's been struggling with logistics and how to get on and off the studio floor today. So, can you help him with that I at can all? just pick him up. Yeah, we That might yeah. do. One on each arm. Yeah, oh, my legs. Oh, oh, oh. Bye, Simon. Bye, Simon. Bye. Maybe you're getting the hint as to what is happening. The 90s show Gladiators has been welcomed back onto our Saturday night TV screens with open arms. And tonight, the Lycra clad... You can hear Simon's going, let me down! The <laughs> Lycra clad contenders are going to be heading into the first semi-final. Uh, you know the idea, a test of speed, strength, all that kind of stuff. With those two, who are coming back onto the sofa in a moment. Have a look. Uh, fire and steel, as you saw earlier with us now. What have you done with Simon? Is he okay? Just Simon, yeah, was he we, out we there? just left him in the corner, if that's all right. Crying. Yeah. I think he'll still, still, still get his breath back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can imagine. I can, do you know what? That will be the highlight of his year. Yeah. Four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's generally shocked. Uh, gladiators. I mean, I, I, maybe there were some people who thought bringing a show back, and I'm old enough, like quite a few people, to remember the original. Who knows whether that will work? It yeah. really has worked, hasn't it? Yeah, it's gone down an absolute storm. It's called the uh, the Saviour of Saturday Night TV, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's a show that the adults can generally enjoy, the kids really enjoy, and it's um, yeah, it's done amazing. Tell us a bit about what the challenges are as you come in as a gladiator, because you, 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 there's there's a lot of baggage that comes with it in a good way. It's just like it's a big shoes to fill. Yeah, it is, it's, it's a big and it's a big show, iconic show, nostalgic. And as still said, bringing families together has been the priority for us, just making sure that it's everything that everyone wants it to be. And we want to stand up to that as well. But, you know, our, our backgrounds um, speak for themselves a lot of the time. So we're hoping that we can bring a bit of fun, a bit of spice to it, but also just show that, you know, there's a gladiator in everyone, so we're trying to bring them out as well. I, you know, the first time round, I think the gladiators seemed so unattainable, like, in terms of being a gladiator. Of course, you'd say you'd want to be a gladiator, mm -hmm. but you knew... I when I was a kid, I'd never be one. Who was your... Who did you look up to, Fire? So, so everyone loved, you know, Jet, yes. Super Jet, of course. And, and for me, um, as well, watching it as, like, a six, seven-year-old, I remember, remember seeing, like, Rio on the screen as well and thinking, oh, my gosh, you know, she looks just like me. She's strong, she's powerful and tall. And I was a very long <laughs> um, child. So to seeing someone that kind of represents who you are, I think, I'd love to be. I'd love to be that person. And your background was as a runner. Is that you're an athlete? Yes, yeah, so I'm a former sprinter turned bobsailer. So I've done the, the summer and the ice, and now I'm fire. So <laughs> yours is a very different story, still though, isn't it? Yes. In the sense, like, paint the picture of when you were a young boy watching Gladiator. So when I was a young boy, I was very overweight. Ate a lot of junk food, pretty much every day. Really self-conscious how I looked. Used to skip swimming lessons at school because I was too scared to take my top off. And I I used to watch gladiators every Saturday night and I used to draw pretend abs on my stomach, pretend chest, and I used to pretend to be a gladiator. And like you said, I just looked at them like superheroes, like I could never be in that shape, let alone become a gladiator. You did what I didn't do and went and did it. But then, yeah, so <laughs> then I set some goals, um, started to lose a little bit of weight, got quite confident, felt this is actually really good, I'm actually feeling happy about myself. Um, and then I got into a sport called CrossFit at the, around the age of 24. I became the UK's fittest man in 2020, qualified for the CrossFit Games, and then became a gladiator and, and living the dream. The UK's so, um, fittest man. 
Yes, I That's was. That's quite an accolade. Yeah, I was 26th in the world out of 127,000 athletes. So that took a lot of dedication getting there, training six days a week, four hours a day for pretty much 10 years. So all of you are like elite athletes, really, aren't you? And the respect you must have for each other when you're back there, because you've got to be a team. I know you. The tone is a bit different towards the contenders this, <laughs> at this time around. You're a bit more generous. It's not as mean, but you guys, it is you guys against them, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, and, and more different characters. Yeah. Steele's the Mr Nice Guy. So, funnily enough, when I used to watch the Gladiators, my favourite Gladiator was Saracen, and uh, he was the Mr yes, Nice Guy yes. who was very Blonde, good at the games. Blonde, curly hair. Uh, no, he had no, black hair. He that was, was always... Hunter, I was yes, thinking Yes, he was good yes. on Hang Tough. Um, his celebration uh, yeah. was just like thumbs up and a uh -huh. smile. That's it, that's it. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was the Mr. Nice Guy, very good at the games, and that's what Steel is. Yeah. Steel is the Mr. Nice Guy. Who, you'll see him smiling a lot. But then if contenders do manage to get the better of me, I will congratulate them and say well done. So, yeah, we've got massive respect for yeah. each gladiator. We all come from different backgrounds, um, but we suit different games well. Yeah, we're like a big family. Yeah, we are very we are close. Really, we're really close, and it's really nice to have that. And what about the contenders? So are th are, has that gone up a notch or two in terms of their fitness and their skills? Well, we've got no base of comparison, but definitely, definitely because the nation is very much more fitness conscious and we know that as we are now, which is great. And this is what we're hoping as well, that to, to even push that further. But, you know, the contenders are coming in yeah, really, really, they, really hot. They, they don't they do they not play and they do really want to be us. <laughs> yeah, they're hyped up and that's what yeah. we love. We want them to bring their A game. Yeah. And what kind of assessment do you get? I, I don't know enough about the sort of background of the show. Do you get to kind of check them out in advance as to... So, but you just you no, have to no, assess no. them we as they turn up We see them when we're go, looking at their eyes across the game. And I'm top, <laughs> and we're like, top Let's of go. jaw, I tell them, like, nice to meet you. <laughs> right. <laughs> get, get but, yeah, they scan. bring full energy, yeah. they train. You can tell someone practice the games. They have a strategic plan on some of the games because you can see them thinking about it. Yeah. yeah, it's great. That's what we love. What's it like when you lose against a contender? I mean, obviously, you're very competitive, right? But when you lose yeah. against a contender... OK. <laughs> you can I'm see my deep breath there. It, yeah. I'm very competitive. Well, what's the process you kind of go through and just go... Well, for any contender to beat us, they've got to have had a great game. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, we just say congratulations yeah. because you've done very well to beat us because it's not hard to beat gladiators. Yeah. But our competitive nature... It is very win. hard to take. Yeah, we want to win, but we also understand that, you know, we're just giant obstacles, really, for them to go towards their, their main challenge with the Eliminator and go against each other. So we're trying to make that journey for them as difficult as possible and really make sure that they don't get as least points as possible. And that's really our job. So we're trying to stick together as a team. We go against them and we, we, we basically congratulate them when they do well. You yeah. must worry about Edges. injuries a bit, I guess. Yeah, you must, like all athletes, mm. that's a worry, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, but back. as athletes, we do as best as we can to to sort of manage injuries. We do a lot of rehab stuff, we mm -hmm. warm up well, we cool down well. So, yeah, we, we limit that, that possibility as much as possible. Did you come to the studio from outdoors in your costumes? Or did you yeah, change we wear this 24 oh, yeah. seven. We, we never get out of it. I this is just I life. This today. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't want to say the smell, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. It's wafting over. It, it, it is. Sorry. It's better, it's better <laughs> than this one. Um, what about if you had, like, a celebrity gladiators? Like, oh, do you think there'd be anyone who you'd like to take on? I, or... think, Simon. I think we've just signed oh, yeah. you two up for that, I think. No, no. No? no. <laughs> Charlie's very yeah. good. Do my team. So. What about with us? You can go against Powerball. You can yeah. go OK, I'm up for that. With the ring. And then that's one of the new the games, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of my favourite games. That is... Yeah. That's brutal. It's, it's a minute long, but it feels like it's gone on for five minutes. Yeah, the truth is, I think the costumes are a little more alarming than the actual uh, sport itself. Uh, in terms of I, can participation. See, I can see you in this. We'll leave it there. Lovely to see you this morning. Thank, Thank you very yeah. much. That's an image. Charlie in that costume is not an image that we put Ooh. first thing in the morning on a Saturday. <laughs> That's not kind. If you need a reminder, Gladiators, BBC One, 5.50 tonight. Semi-final tonight. Yeah. Semi-final tonight. Headlines coming up.